This here is the only fruit tree that survived the move from our old farm to our new place. So pretty sure this one is a pear. And it's the only one that made it past the winter. It's come back really vigorously though. It's doing really well. So here I'm just mixing up some sulfur spray. I'll leave a link to this spray below. You can use this on goats and pretty much all of your farm animals and it's excellent for killing things like mites and fleas. I noticed my buck had some fleas so I'll be mixing this up and I'll be spraying him and saturating him really well until all of the mites are gone and that usually takes two to three treatments. Check on the baby that we had born yesterday, you guys. We gotta force feed her again because she's not being fed. But we should still check on her. And we should milk uh, the mom a bit. I have to come back, I didn't bring my milking stuff. I just wanted to check on the baby. Violet gave birth last night. We're probably gonna try something today on the baby. Let's see how the baby is. Can you lift it up so we can see if it looks hungry or... No, she don't look hungry. And she's been pooing. Tonight was her first night. We actually brought the baby inside for about four hours after she was born yesterday because she just was way too lethargic. She had no... She doesn't have any sucking reflexes as far as we've seen. And so we had to force feed her with... Uh, by milking Violet. So we've been feeding her with this and then last night we left her, we brought her back with her mom and let them sleep together. And she doesn't look too emaciated, she doesn't look too skinny. Um, so I'm hoping she was eating off of mommy last night, so. But she's a really beautiful little girl, she is a doe. So she's the first doe we have born on here. Um, the first kid from last week was a boy, so he's a buck. And so we have our first doe, and you should see the pattern on her. It's beautiful, you guys. I didn't think Violet would be such a good mommy, but she really is trying. Look at this baby, look at how cute she is. Look at her colors. There's little boy. <laughs> he was born on May, Friday, May the 13th, and it is Friday, May the 20th, so he's exactly one week old today. Aren't you little white paw? Aren't you one week old today? And there's mommy. Right, MP? Is that your baby boy? Violet, are you being a good mommy? Did not think you were, Violet. I think we should do the Madigan squeeze again. I think it helped. Try to keep the first one up here for me. Just keep it right here.
right there. Just keep it on that shoulder. I'll do it two or three times. I'm just tightening it now. Keep going, baby. She wants to. Mm. I think our squeeze is helping. She does this thing every three or four times to get the baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. Baby girl. <laughs> Honey, why are you always on the milk stand? You haven't even given birth yet. Mm -hmm. They're doing good. She's eating. Sleeping by himself. <laughs> Look at him sleeping by himself. We call thickums. And then mommy over there hanging out with the other girls. 
And P's a good mom. She's just had babies before, so she knows he'll be fine. This guy's are... <laughs> oh, he's the healthiest. He came in here boy. on his own to sleep. I know. <laughs> Being such a drama queen, honey. Can we please get off the milk stand? <laughs> Excuse me, lady. Come on. Okay, let's look. Oh, there she goes now. Come on, honey, get off. Go on. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just put it up there to lock him in so that Violet has time to become a mommy. And then when you're ready to milk him, we can just hop him up there. Maybe she'll do the bird. She's been more lying around. Stay. Okay. Little guy. Is your baby there, girl? Hi. I see her. Oh. You remind me when we get about quarter away to get it in there. Thank you, Violet. You can go down now, girl. Go on. <laughs> we'll see your baby. She's been going well with the girls. She said that I wanted to bring the baby. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this and uh, see if we can get any milk out of her. So it's our second day milking Violet. She milked really good yesterday, but she kicked it and we lost most of it. But uh, now we'll be milking her daily in the mornings. We're eventually going to um, separate her from the baby overnight so that we have some milk in the morning. Otherwise we won't be able to, we won't be getting that much milk. So they're all doing well. Her and the baby are doing really good. She really snapped into motherhood perfectly and she's doing a great job. Everyone else is doing really good.